folks, James Ryan here, going to do a quick sweet picking lesson. I've had another request from a mate of mine. As here we go, buddy. Um, this is four string sweeps. Now, the four string shapes are probably the least commonly used. For some reason, probably no harder than the others. Uh, of course, what happens is when you first start doing sweeping, everyone tends to learn the three string sort of melm scene. All those inversions. They're cool. We love those. Um, they're limited a little bit in terms of the rhythm because they're a triplet sounding pattern unless you throw a few more notes in there. So limited a bit because of that. Um, and then after that we seem to go straight to the five or six string pattern such as this. And those are awesome as well of course, but again um, each one of these patterns have their own limitations um, a lot of those also are a triplet sound right so that limits them a little bit in terms of the way we're going to do or in the way that you can use them so the four string pattern is just those shapes minus one string obviously so for example if i was going to do the classic uh, a major shape here so that's the five string pattern so we just ditch that first note the root note, so we're just going to start on the fourth string so you get so what you get there is a group of eight so you got your eighth note 16th notes etc um might be better to start that on the higher note to practice it. So that's all you do, you just go through your shapes and turn them into four string ones. Um, for the most part, I've avoided doing the trickier ones. You know, if you're hardcore and serious, do every shape into fours. But um, the ones that I would use most commonly would be uh, the root, think of it as kind of your root six, um, major and minor. So it's basically like an F, a little F chord. That's your major. These are great because they actually end on the root note. Mine would be. Okay, so those two are cool. Then you'd have the, the shape that I just mentioned a moment ago, which is again, a really popular on the. So. Easy to join them up, right? Um, what are the other ones? The minor, um, for example, the A minor shape, really common. The five string version is. So then the four string is. A little bit more work. That's really just three different shapes in there. So again, the majors would be, and the next inversion of that A major would be. So I'm avoiding doing the, the four string version of that because you've got to go. So you've got to do that bar thing. So you can work on that if you want, but um, that one's probably the most awkward. Uh, and likewise, I guess with the minor equivalent is. Not too bad. Yeah, I need to work on those. Um, so there you go, four string shapes. Um, so as an example, this one here, uh, what's this start on G majors? Uh, no, what was I doing? Excuse me one moment. Yeah, okay, so G major, D major, E minor, um, D major again, A major, no, no, sorry, C major, G, back to the C, um, back to the D. A D. It's that standard kind of classical sound. With a little twist on the end there. What's important is you keep them at a slow enough pace where you can really hear the clarity of the rhythm. Oh. 
And as you speed them up a bit, um, it's very easy to lose that. So just speed them up a little at a time, make sure you still retain that rhythm. If it starts getting a bit washy like that, slow it down. Over and out. 